Welcome back. You're watching Talk with Audrey. Well, it's no surprise that the kitchen is the heart of the home. And while this holiday season may look a little different for many, there are still ways to stay connected through food and technology. Food and lifestyle expert Whitney Bond joins me now with ways to optimize your time in order to connect with loved ones over the holidays in new and creative ways. Hi, Whitney. Hi, thanks so much for having me. This year's holiday traditions may look a little different, um, what's a new tradition that you'll be implementing with your family and friends in this virtual environment? Yeah, so this year I'm merging some of my old family traditions with a new family tradition in hosting a virtual cookie party with my family. So every year since I was a little girl, we've made my mom's famous sugar cookies. And this recipe has been passed down for three generations. And we decorate them and put sprinkles on top and it's so much fun. So this year, all of my family from the East Coast to the West Coast and everywhere in between will be zooming in for virtual cookie parties so we can all make these cookies together, decorate them, get everyone involved from the little kids to the older adults. And it's going to be so much fun. I'm super excited. And what technology and or recipes would you recommend people use or try? Yeah, so I definitely recommend either a family favorite recipe or even a new recipe that you want to maybe incorporate into new family traditions this year. But baked goods are always so great around the holiday season. They make the house smell amazing and you just feel so connected to your family when you're baking a recipe, even if you're not in the same home. And something like cookies or a cake, you can decorate and have the little kids put sprinkles on top and just really get the whole family involved. Now, as far as technology goes, you have to have a reliable internet connection to host your own virtual cookie party. So that's why I rely on Cox High Speed Internet. If you place the modem closer to the kitchen, you can make sure that you'll have no interrupted moments in your holiday baking Zoom call. I also like to keep a smart assistant in my kitchen because you can use it to set timers or play festive holiday music to just get you in the spirit. With holiday traditions looking a little different, some people like essential workers, frontline healthcare workers, and others may not have the time that they used to for cooking. What advice do you have for them? Yeah, so I think when it comes to essential workers, you know, after you've had a long day on the front lines, you want to come home to a nice, warm, comfort food meal. And the easiest way, I think, to do that is with a slow cooker. I love using my slow cooker. I have over 100 slow cooker recipes on my blog. And you could put something in before your shift. And then when you come home at the end of the day, you have a warm, comfortable meal ready for you. And for the friends and family of essential workers, if you want to do something extra special for them this holiday season, once again, you're going to use technology get on your smartphone and use an app to order food delivery straight to an essential worker that you know in your life, maybe from their favorite restaurant, maybe it's their favorite pizza or a treat from their favorite bakery, but having it safely delivered to their front door will just let you know that they're thinking, you're thinking of them this holiday season. And Cox is thinking about all the frontline workers too. They've created the Full of Love campaign where they're delivering home cooked meals from family members safely and directly to essential workers. And I just love this because one of my best friends is a travel nurse and she's been working on the COVID units from New York City to Arizona to California ever since this started. And so anything that anyone is doing for frontline workers like her just really melts my heart this holiday season. And where can we go for more information? You can visit cox.com forward slash connected cooking to learn more about building a smart kitchen and how you can use technology to stay connected this holiday season. Thanks so much for joining me, Whitney. Happy holidays. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays to you too.